What's up guys? Welcome to the very first showdown live of Ultra Sun and Moon. We are back today with a really cool team. I was excited to record because this team is awesome. I, I really, really like it. Uh, it's uh, it's a team by my, uh, well, I don't know if my buddy Eric made it, who's also my gender, by the way. Uh, but he did pass it to me. He left it in our chat, and it's uh, it's got this sick Celesteela uh, with Metronome Leech Seed, Autotomize, Air Slash, and Flash Cannon. Leech Seed uh, can be subbed out for Earthquake, I want to say, uh, to deal with uh, Heat Ran. Because once you start spamming Air Slash when this thing has an Autotomize boost, it's ridiculous. On top of that, the team has Triple Intimidate uh, with Scarf Lando with Defog. Uh, Gyarados with uh, Thunder Wave, Waterfall Taunt, and Earthquake, more defensive set, and your standard Mega Manectric. Z Celebrate Victini, which I have yet to use this gen, this is my first time using it and I'm loving it already. And uh, Clefable, uh, which is unaware without recovery for some reason, I'm not sure why, but uh, it is. Uh, I guess it's to get a Toxic off on Setup Mons, I'm not sure, but not having recovery is really strange. I feel like subbing out Toxic for, um, for recovery. Uh, for soft boiled or uh, it doesn't get soft boiled, but it can get uh, moonlight. So uh, I'm considering it, but I'm gonna leave the team as is for now, and we're gonna hop into uh, into a game. As you can see, this is only the second team. I just got my PC repaired. Uh, for those of you that watched our draft analysis video uh, that went up either earlier today or yesterday, I'm not sure when I'm putting this live up, but. Um, if you guys watch that, you know that I just got my PC repaired. I lost all my teams, so I'm down to absolutely nothing. So I'm really glad Eric passed us his team. Uh, and uh, I'm excited to, uh, to show it off for you guys. So here we go. Let's hop in. Uh, I'm going to pause it until we get a game, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hop into our first game recorded since God knows how long. Uh, we got a Chansey that we have to deal with, unfortunately. Uh, it's kind of annoying, especially because the setup mods on this team uh, really do not like Chansey. Uh, I guess I can flinch it down with Gyarados, chip it away with Lando. There's a couple of options. Um, I'm going to lead off with Landorus uh, because it is Scarfed. He does have a Kirin Black, which is why I let off with this so that I can get off the uh, the U-turn, get out of here, and go into something that can take the hit like Clefable, uh, and we'll work it from there. So uh, he's definitely going to go for Ice Beam here. So that ends up doing quite a bit of damage, um, and I think Sub-Zero Slammer actually kills me from here. Uh, so I'm tempted to switch into Victini, but I'm, I think I'm just going to get up my rocks here. Uh, he is going to go for the Slammer. It's probably going to kill. Uh, as he gets a crit, unfortunately. Uh, that does allow us Steela, though, or we can go into Manectric and Volt Switch, which is kind of what I'm tempted to do. Uh, he could just go Lando or Chansey, though, so that's a little bit annoying. Uh, I'm going to go into... Huh. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go Gera, and I'm going to double into Lando to get off another Intimidate on his Fusion Bolt. And then we're going to U-turn uh, into... I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Uh, but he is going to go for the Fusion Bolt. That's fine. And I'm going to click U-turn. Uh, I might go Victini. might go Gyarados. Uh, I think Gyarados might be the best play. As we're going to get off a of U-turn. He is going to switch out into his Landorus. So that's nice. I get the uh, Kyurem out of there. And uh, now I'm just going to go back into Gyarados. And we're going to click... Uh, I really want to click Thunder Wave uh, on his switch out. Because his, uh, his Kyurem is likely to come in. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I doubt he'd stay in because he's a Leftovers variant. Sorry, I was picking up something in my teeth. I doubt he would stay in because he's a Leftovers variant. He's not Scarfed or anything, so... It'd be a little weird to see him stay in here. But we'll see. He does U-turn out. Okay, good. And we are slower, so that's fantastic. As uh, he's probably going to go into Kirim. Uh, he ends up going Coco. Okay, so that's a little bit annoying considering... Um, you know... Uh, I don't want to bring in Manectric. I'm going to go into Landorus because it's going to give me the free U-turn out. I think he might U-turn as well. We'll see. He is going to U-turn. Okay, that's fine. And uh, Kyurem's a huge threat to this team. Kyurem is the biggest problem to this team by far. So I think I need the recovery on Clef. That way I can play around uh, Kyurem. So we're going to give it Moonlight. Uh, because I could have switched out into Victini on his Sub-Zero and then switched back into Clefable on his Earth Power and then healed up. So, But I can't do that if I don't have recovery. <laughs> That's the problem. It's really fun for wasting the ICM uh, with Clefable into Victini. So, uh, Victini would have been useless this game anyway because he has a Chansey, right? So, but I, I wasn't able to make that play because of the fact that Clef doesn't have recovery. It's, it's absolutely useless to make a play like that. So, he is going to go into Coco. I'm curious to see what he's going to... Okay, he is going to go into his Kyurem now. Uh, I'm going to calc it real quick. That's not my calc. There we go. Uh, and I'm going to let you guys see everything that's on the calc as well by doing that. Go away. Thank you. Uh, Kirin Black. 
uh, Sub-Zero Slammer uh, runs Naive, which is what? Uh, minus Spit F. Okay, let's do Lando Choice Scarf. Uh, Choice Scarf Stone Edge. Stone Edge. Does 60 to 71. You know what? Uh, I think I'm, I, I should better close this. Um, and this as well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for the edge, honestly. Uh, because once... Once this thing is weakened, Manectric can pretty much always come in on it and always just go for either Flamethrower, HP Ice, anything like that. Uh, and Gera is a pretty good check to... Actually, hold on. Uh, I'm going to U-turn again, and I'm going to go into Victini. Because I said that Victini is absolutely useless this game. He's going to go for the Fusion Bolt. It's going to do a lot of damage, but it's not going to be enough. Uh, and I can just pretty freely go for the Searing Shot right here. Uh, and we can him further, as he is going to go for another Fusion Bolt, that's fine. And now we're going to get back in Lando and we're going to U-turn again, so... Uh, I think we're okay now. This is Kirim solo. He is going to go into his Landorus, so I'm going to go uh, into my Gyarados again, and this time I'm going to click Waterfall. Uh, this is probably his Rocker, considering it's Leftovers. Uh, it could also be Chansey, could be any of those. I still have my Triple Intimidate on deck, so I'm not too worried about Mega Heracross. And Steela is what I'm looking to win with. Uh, despite the fact that he has a Chansey, as long as it doesn't have Thunder Wave, I can wear it down with Leech Seed. So that's one benefit of having Leech Seed, is that uh, I can click it and then start spamming either Air Slash or Flash Cannon and really start weakening his team. Uh, I just need an Autotomize up, essentially. So he's going to go for the U-turn. So I'm going to get off a Waterfall on something. I think it might kill Kirim from where it's at. Keyword might. Uh, in comes Coco, as we are going to go for the Waterfall. That's going to damage him uh, very well right there. And I actually am going to stay in right here and go for a another Waterfall. As he is going to U-turn, fantastic. Okay, so we are going to get off this Waterfall right here. So I'm seeing that he's not cl he's not attacking what's in front of him, essentially. He went for a Fusion Bolt against my Landorus when I could have Stone Edged or Earthquaked him. So um, that right there indicates to me that he's trying really hard to predict every turn. So I'm going to I'm gonna play in Consequence. He's going to go into his Chansey. I'm going to get off a Waterfall on this thing, and I'm going to taunt it and make sure that it can't recover. And uh, that's that. Goodbye. No Stealth Rocks for you. And uh, because his only ground... Okay, I'm going to go for another Waterfall. That's fine. Uh, as easy as he's going to bring in this Coco again, and we're going to get off a Waterfall. And this time I'm going to go into Landorus, no questions asked. Uh, as he is going to go for another U-turn. That's fine. As you can see, he's really not attacking what's in front of him, but I wasn't going to risk my Gyarados right there. Uh, I'm just going to play it safe, because I do kill anything that comes in. Well, I, I kill his, his most important things that come in, being Kirim Black, uh, and I damage uh, Chansey severely with a U-turn. I damage Reuniclus severely with a U-turn, so um, that's that's fine. I'm okay with that. I am faster than Kirim, so as long as I'm in with a faster Mon than Kirim, I'm pretty much good to go. I'm surprised he didn't go into Kirim, actually. Uh, he is going to go into his Chansey. I doubt this has rocks, so it's fine if I just click U-turn uh, here. Uh, no, sorry, this is his rocker, excuse me. Uh, so I'm actually just gonna go for an Earthquake and damage him. Does 39, goes for the Stealth Rocks. And now he's probably going to go into his Landorus, is what I'm assuming. Um, I lost my Rocker per pretty early on. Getting rid of Chansey is okay, but it's not, like, ultra important. Uh, so I'm gonna go into Gyarados, because I'm pretty sure he's not gonna stay in. He's probably gonna go to his Landorus. Yep. There we go, okay, good. So now, uh, that's another free Waterfall completely free. I could also go for Earthquake. I should have gone for Earthquake another turn when I knew he would bring in Coco. But I'm just going to Waterfall here. Um, Doubt he has Explosion. He's probably Earthquake, HP Ice, uh, maybe Defog. I'm thinking Defog as his last move. But it's uh, it's looking really, really good for Celesteela right here. Because he let his, uh, he let his Coco get really low. Uh, and I only have to hit it once. I can even hit it with an Air Slash at this point. So it's fine. Uh, let's see what he goes into. Maybe Kurum, maybe Heracross. Heracross works. That's fine. So we're going to get off a Waterfall right there. I could Taunt. I could Thunder Wave. Do a plethora of things. Uh, I think that Thunder Wave is actually my better play. Uh, as he's actually faster than me, but this might not knock me out. We'll see. Uh, it does. Okay, that's fine. Um, so Manectric comes in here. I don't think Chansey takes Flamethrower into Thunderbolt. I'm pretty sure. So I'm just gonna go for the uh, I'm gonna go for the for the thrower right here, and weaken this thing further. And now I'm pretty secure unless he scarfed Coco. I'm pretty secure a Celesteela win at this point. I really just need to get the Autotomize up, which I can do on his Landorus. So we'll do that. Heracross uh, is bulky, but it's not super bulky. 
Uh, in comes Reuniclus, that's fine. I'm just gonna get off a flamethrower right there. We're gonna go for a Volt Switch. And we'll see what he does. After we get in our Landorus, which is what I'm gonna go to. Um, I don't think you would go into your Lando here. As, uh, as try hard of a play as that is. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go Lando here. He is gonna get up his, um, his thing, his Calm Mind. Uh, so now I want to see Reuniclus, your standard uh, Reuniclus uh, Calm Mind set versus Lando T's Earthquake U-Turn. Okay, neither does a lot. Um, okay, so I think I need a crit. Um, we're going to U-Turn. We get... Okay, that's a lot more damage than I expected it to, to do. What the heck? 33 to 40. Does he not have defense investment or something? Um, earthquake. Yeah, I guess he doesn't. Why did that do so much? I have to move this. 51 min. Uh, or within that range. Okay. Um, so that means Earthquake does a lot more. We're going to go to Manectric. Uh, let's hope that he fires off a, uh, an attack right here. As he goes for recover, that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to Volt again. Because I can actually beat this thing with Steela. So I'm going to go back to Lando here. And um, I'm going to Earthquake. As he goes into his own Lando, that's fine. And I'm going to Earthquake again. As he's going to U-turn out. So I'm going to get the initiative here, which is nice. Let's see what he goes to. Um, Kiram, I can still kill with Manectric. Uh, Coco, I can still kill with Manectric because I'm faster unless he's Scarfed. Uh, this probably dies. Reuniclus comes in. Okay, we're going to go into Steela, and we are going to... Um, do I want to click Atomize yet? Calm Mind, recover, recover Psy Shock, and Focus Blast, right? That should be your set. Um, yeah, let's click Atomize. I can see him going for Calm Mind, but it's fine. He goes for Recover. Oh, that's perfect. All right, all we need is like one flinch, and we win, <laughs> essentially, because Air Slash is going to completely sweep him. So 24, he's going to go for Calm Mind. The next one's going to do 24 as well, or 19, I guess. Uh, we get the flinch. Keep going for Air Slash, 21 on that one. Recovers, go for another Air Slash. All right, it's almost up at max. Uh, it needs five turns, I believe, of repeated use to be at max. So we'll see. How much is it going to do this time? I need to keep hitting it too, though. That's the thing. There's 25. No flinch. Air Slash again. 24. Goes for Focus Blast. Weakens me quite a bit. This Air Slash crits and kills him. Okay. So we can win right here. Um, I just need... Actually, I think I already kill Chansey. Because I'm full powered. So as long as... Okay, this is fine. Couldn't I just... Leech Seed on this thing? Oh, I'm just going to Air Slash. Screw it. He's going to go to Kirim. That's going to power up my Air Slash even further. Very nice. He's going to go back to Lando. I know he's leftovers, so this doesn't matter. I'm going to kill him regardless. And I'm going to kill Chansey. I guess he's not Scarfed Coco. That's the only explanation. Uh, I don't know if we saw him switch up moves. I don't think we did. So I think that's game. 13, 14 minutes into the recording. I think we got this. He forfeits. All right, there we go. Woo! <laughs> Grant <laughs> the Reuniclus. That was pretty lucky. I'm not gonna lie. That was really, really lucky. Um, but he also got a crit on my Clefable, and I would have gotten rocks up a lot earlier. Uh, and I think I would have actually lived the Sub Zero Slammer if I'm not mistaken. Let me check here in Black. Uh, Sub Zero versus Standard Clefable. Clefable when he's at minus one, right? So OU unaware. Uh, free Shock. Uh, he's at minus one. The Z move does 70 max, and I was at 70. So uh, I'm pretty sure that I would have had that. Uh, if he hadn't crit me. So uh, this is looking like a team that's extremely weak to Victini. Um, so I'm, I think I'm going to focus on Victini this game. Uh, also, his only ground type to note is Lando. Uh, and Manectric does a lot of work to him. So uh, what I'm going to do is lead off with Gyarados because it covers the majority of his leads, uh, including his Landorus, which is fantastic. And I'm just going to go straight for a Waterfall in case he wants to, uh, to set up his rocks. And then what I'm going to do on the following turn is Thunder Wave, because his, his switch-in should be uh, Bulu. That Stone Edge wouldn't have done too much, honestly. 
as we are going to get out 48% right there. Uh, I'm feeling like he's choice, so I'm going to go into Clefable here, uh, because your switch-ins should either be not Heatran, not Scizor, uh, I want to say Bulu or Greninja, but we'll see. But I am going to switch here because he's at minus one attack. He's going to go into Greninja, that's perfect for me. Alright, we do have the Moonlight now as well, keep in mind. Uh, I'm going to get up Rocks right here as he is going to go into his Heatran, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to go out into my Gyarados as he is going to go for what, Rocks? That's fine. We're going to go for the Waterfall. I could Earthquake as well. Uh, but I think Waterfall is just generally safer. He's not going to go into his Lando, right? So I'm actually going to T-Wave here. I think that's the better play. Just Thunder Wave, whatever comes in. Uh, he actually did go into his Landorus. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Uh, I'm going to go Clef, because he's not going to Earthquake. At least I, I would hope not. He's going to U-Turn. Okay, that's fine. What are you bringing in? Heat ran again? That's fine. Alright. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually go for a... Do I start setting up here? Um, yeah, I'm going to go for a Calm Mind as he goes for Magnastorm. That does a lot. Uh, I think the next one might actually kill me, but I'm going to attempt to Moonlight as he taunts me. Okay. All right, so the next one is going to kill me, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, his Lando is really low, though, uh, which is good, as he is going to get off the Earth Power. He actually doesn't end up killing me with that, uh, and I get off a free Moon Blast, but that doesn't really matter because he's still at full, so... Um, Gyarados is fine. Gyarados is fine. Uh, and I'm just going to go for Waterfall. Because if he wants to sack his Lando, then great. He has no Thunderbolt switch-ins anymore. Um, he's he's going to end up going to Scizor, and I'm going to taunt this thing. And prevent it from healing. It should be slower than me, in theory. As there we go, we get off the taunt. As he tries to roost, yep. And I'm just going to go for another Waterfall. Weaken him further, put him down to 31. Looking very good for Steela. Uh, Heat Ren's still at full, though, so I have to make sure that I weaken that. In comes Lele! There we go, there's the threat. About time it came in. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to go for a Thunder Wave. Uh, Psy Shock or, or this. This is definitely gonna knock me out. Um, so I do have Victini as a play. And I think Victini is going to bait in either the Heat Ren or the Greninja, which are both fine. Because if I get rid of either or, then Celesteela has an easier time regardless. So I am gonna go Victini. I am gonna go for the Z Celebrate, no matter what he does. And, I, and now I know he's Shattered Psyche, so he's not Specs or anything. He can hardly damage me, so he can have Shadow Ball, but it's not going to do that much. Uh, as he does go for the Calm Mind, that's fine. Uh, now this is fully boosted Psychic, oh, I'm Psychic over Sword Power, okay. Well, Searing Shot, still going to do a lot. As he's going to go for another Calm Mind, that's fine. And uh, I'm curious, no, this this is still the better play. Psychic definitely does not do more. Sword Power might have done more, but not, uh, not Psychic. Alright, so that did 49. This one should still kill. I shouldn't have a problem killing this thing. And uh, then we'll play from there, but I'm pretty sure this actually just wins. <laughs> Unless he's Scarf Grand and he clicks uh, Rock Slide. Uh, as long as I connect a Focus Blast on the Heat Ran, I'm pretty set uh, to go. So he goes for Psy Shock, that's fine. I'm going to Searing Shot again. Uh, no reason not to. I could Psychic as well to catch the Heat Ran. Psychic's free. Psychic is fully free. Because we're going to knock out the Lele, fantastic. And uh, I really needed, I really needed to weak, weaken the heat ran. Uh, I think Gren might be able to knock me out at this point. We'll see. Uh, from 32, we're gonna calc it. Obviously, Greninja. Greninja choice specs, but only 107 special attack. Uh, the base pot. No, we're gonna do regular Gren, so because this doesn't work. Uh, choice scarf. Change this to choice specs. Uh, max out the special attack, uh, and we're gonna give it Water Shuriken versus Victini. Uh, Z celebrates uh, at plus one spadef. 38 to 45. Yeah, it definitely kills. Why would you go into this? Huh. So what, you need extra bullet punch damage or something? For what? For what exactly? For this? For Water Shuriken, right? Okay, that was gonna kill regardless, but that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go Manectric. And I'm gonna click uh, Thunderbolt. I, I, don't think, I don't believe I die to the uh, Water Shuriken. Pretty sure I live it. I'm not gonna calc it, I don't care at this point. Uh, as he is going to go into his Landorus, who is Scarfed. Uh, so I'm going to go into my own Lando. 
And what's he going to do? He's going to go for the U-turn. Okay, great. Uh, and that's going to get into his Greninja again. And he's going to go for the Water Shuriken. I don't know if he knows if I'm Scarfed. I guess he doesn't care. Uh, that's what he's clicking regardless. And, um... Uh, yeah, I'm going to go back to main. And I'm just going to click Thunderbolt again. Yeah, because I, I want to catch his Heat Ran. I just need that thing weakened. He didn't let his Heat Ran get weakened, which is really annoying. He never went into it. Not even on Victini. He's going to go into Bulu. Okay, this is actually better for me. I'm going to click Flamethrower here. I don't really care what you go for. Because that's going to do some good damage. He's AV. Horn Leech, yep, that's fine. Uh, and I'm just going to Flamethrower again. As he's going to go for... I don't know what, because we don't get to see it. Um, flamethrower won't kill him. Or, okay, I guess it does. Um, so Lando can go for the U-turn. I'm pretty sure it kills me as well. Uh, so that's kind of annoying. I wanted I wanted my Celesteela to come in on his Bulu. But now it comes in on Heatran, which is really annoying. Um, yeah, I got a Leech Seed. And uh, yeah, his Magma Storm does way too much. Um, I guess if he misses a few, we could be okay. Nope, he hits both. Okay. Alright, so that's a loss. Uh, unfortunately, he did not let his, uh, his Heat Ran get weakened. I wasn't able to keep rocks off either. Uh, he played well. He played very well. We'll move on, though, and I'm going to pause it again until we get one, guys. Well, I got one almost immediately after I said that, so... Uh, <laughs> uh, it's it's kind of weird with the cuts in the music, I'm sure, but... Uh, team's kind of weak to Manectric. He does have the Swampert, though, so going to have to watch out for that. I'm going to lead Clef. Clef is probably the best lead against him. Uh, it checks the, the Kingdra, the, uh, the Pelipper quite nicely, as well as doesn't immediately lose to the Swampert, so... Uh, he's going to lead off with Lando, that's fine. I'm going to go for uh, Stealth Rocks immediately, as he's going to go for a Sky Strike, I guess, as that is not going to knock me out. Fantastic. And uh, should he want to get up Rocks? Um, I think he would Earthquake here, though. I'm going to go to Lando, as what's he going to do? He's going to go for Earthquake. Fantastic. Okay, and we're going to get off a U-turn here, and we're going to go into Clef again, I think, because uh, if Sky Strike did 83, then Earthquake is about half of that which is 40 and then at minus one. Yeah, I should be able to live. So let's do that. Uh, he's going to go for Hidden Power. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and I'll go into Gyarados here, in fact. As he's going to go for the Earthquake again, and I'm going to start waterfalling this thing because I'm tired of it. As he's going to go into his Pelipper, that's fine. I get off a huge hit on this thing with a crit, and I'm going to go for a Taunt right here uh, to make sure that he cannot roost up because uh, he probably thinks that he can due to the, uh, the crit damage. And if I get off a taunt on him, then he only has uh, one more rain switch in. So, uh, I could also just waterfall, but <clears throat> I think that taunting is the better play. As he goes into Ferrothorn, fantastic. Uh, I'm going to get off a... Uh, well, actually. Um, yeah, I'll just heat wave here. As he goes into his Lando. Uh, I'm still a Gyarados in the rain, so uh, this doesn't do much for you. I'm not sure what this does for you, in fact. <laughs> still a Gyarados in the rain. Uh, and I can still taunt your Pelipper, and your Swampert's still going to take a good amount of damage because this is rain boosted, so... Uh, yeah, there's that damage, and, um... I'm going into Clef, I think, to sack it. No, well, I want another Waterfall hit on him. Uh, as he goes for a Waterfall of his own, doesn't do too much. He does get the flinch, though. I'm going to sack Clef. And then what I'm going to do is, uh, go into Landorus and double into Gyarados afterwards. This Gyarados destroys him. <laughs> it actually destroys him. His entire defensive core is, is messed up by Gyarados uh, because of the fact that I have Taunt. So, Pert can go for rocks right here, obviously. Uh, I'm not too worried about it, though. I think that Clef is still a better play. As he does go for the Waterfall, fantastic. I'm going to go into Lando and double back out into my Gyarados. Uh, that way, if he does go Pelipper, then I'm okay. Uh, he goes into his Landorus, which is even better as now we get off a free waterfall on anything coming in. It doesn't matter if it's Ferrothorn, doesn't matter if it's Pelipper. Uh, Kingdra's fine too. Kingdra would actually be a huge problem, but uh, we'll deal with it as it comes. So uh, I get to go for a waterfall right there. I think he would go for the Power Whip here. So I'm really tempted to go into Victini uh, and then just fire off a Searing Shot, uh, which might be my play. Yeah, I'm going to go to Victini. I'm not going to taunt this thing. 
Uh, is he gonna go for Protect? Fantastic. Okay, so Searing Shot will still kill Pelipper in the rain because it's at 8. So uh, it doesn't matter if he goes into it. And I still have a check to his Mega Perk. Uh, his, the problem on his team for me is Kingdra. So he is gonna go Pelipper, he's gonna sack it. Uh, in comes Kingdra. And Kingdra is gonna start getting some kills. <laughs> That's for sure. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, in it comes. Okay, so uh, I'm not gonna go directly into Gyarados because Gyarados is the only thing that can actually take a hit. Uh, now his Swampert does have the potential of having Rain Dance. All I need to do is keep Steela alive, right? Steela alive means that his Lele doesn't beat me. Um, do I sack this? How good is this? Once the rain is down, this wins. Right? What does Manectric do? Manectric does absolutely nothing. So we're sacking Manectric uh, as he goes for a Surf and knocks me out, of course. We'll go into Gyarados here. We're going to click Thunder Wave. I don't care if he goes into Swampert. I don't care what he does. I am clicking Thunder Wave. And if he goes into Ferrothorn, I am clicking Thunder Wave again because I cannot afford his Kingdra to, to come in on my Gyarados. Switch out, excuse me. So, Thunder Wave is always the play here. He goes in a pert, that's fine. Uh, and I'm gonna go for Waterfall. I don't care if he goes Ferrothorn. I will click Thunder Wave on that thing. He goes for Ice Punch, trying to get a freeze. I'm gonna get off another Waterfall right there. And uh, his Kingdra can come back in if it wants to. Uh, and go for a Draco Meteor. I do have a Steel type though, so that's something that he has to watch out for uh, if I don't switch out. I think that he would go for a Hydro Pump here. Um, do I need Lando for anything? No, so I can sack it right here. Uh, let's see what he goes for. He goes for the Draco Meteor. Fantastic. That means that I can get in my Steela. And Steela is going to start wreaking some havoc. We're going to go for the Autotomize. And then we're going to start spamming Air Slash, I believe. Uh, yeah, Autotomize. And then uh, I, I, I'm going to kill everything with Air Slash. So in comes Ferrothorn. We're going to go for an Air Slash. Uh, I doubt he would protect this turn because his rain is still up. So I think he's going to either go for a Leech Seed or for like a knockoff or something. He's going to go back into his Kingdra, that's fine, as I'm going to get off an Air Slash on that thing, and I'm going to go Nagara here. Uh, I'm not going to stay in and have his Kingdra knock me out with a water move. Uh, so he goes for Hydro Pump, unfortunately he misses, uh, which I don't think ended up mattering because Victini would have come in and uh, killed this thing off anyway, and he doesn't have a Rain Dance setter, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave, Hydro Pump is not, e it wouldn't have even knocked me out even in the rain, so uh, we're going to get off the Para there, and uh, then we're going to go for the Earthquake and knock out his Kingdra. Fantastic. And now, uh, should his Lele come in, I'm going to click Thunder Wave on it. If his Lando comes in, I'm clicking Waterfall. And if his Ferrothorn comes in, I'm clicking Taunt. So in comes Lele. We're going to click Thunder Wave as he goes for Psychic. That's fine. Uh, we're going to get in Victini. And I'm going to go for the Z Celebrate. As much as I would love to win with Celesteela, uh, we already did this video. So I'm going to leave it in, in the back for now. Uh, if he is locked into Psychic, then we're fine because we do get off the Z Celebrate. Uh, and if he's not locked into Psychic, then Steela wins anyway. So there's the Psychic, does 23, doesn't get the drop, so we can go for Searing Shot and essentially just win this game. That's going to do 69. Uh, he's going to go for another Psychic. He does get the drop that time, but I'm not even running uh, Stored Power, so it's fine. In comes Landorus, which is not Scarfed, as we've seen. Searing Shot is easily going to knock it out, and then Ferrothorn's going to go down. GG. Very good game. Uh, and I think we're going to get one more with uh with this team uh we're at 28 minutes so i'll make it like a 38 uh 35 minute video hey it's rob what's up rob a lot of have fun man we've run into each other on the ladder way too many times <laughs> way too many times now it's become redundant um so obviously uh kirim's a problem so leading lando uh you turning into clef on the ice beam and then uh he actually leads off with his own landorus okay so i'm gonna go for the uh the u-turn and uh, I guess he's going to prioritize getting up rocks, which is fine by me. Um, and then I'm just going to... I'm actually going to go straight into my clef, actually. Um, I said actually twice there. And I'm going to get up my own rocks. And I don't care if his mag comes in. I don't care what comes in. I just got to be careful with the uh, the Halucha. But I do have triple intimidate across my team and a an electric type for his acrobatics. So it's not that big of a problem. He's going to go for Swords Dance. Probably going to either explode or go for the Sky Strike here. Uh, I don't really care, I'm just going for Moonblast, uh, as he does go for another Swords Dance, and uh, we're going to get off a hit on that. Now, the thing is, Halucha doesn't beat Victini. Okay, actually, nothing beats Victini. What am I talking about? Uh, Victini actually just wins. Um, I pick a Sack here, right? And then I can go into my Manectric and just fire off an HP Ice. So, I think that Sack is this thing right here. And he's actually going to go down with me. 
<laughs> and I'm unaware, so I don't die to, uh, to explosions, so that's fantastic. That's great. Um, obviously, his Kirim's a problem, but I do have my rocks up, so it's fine. Uh, this isn't a problem at all. Yeah, it should be fine. I should be fine against this team. I think I'm actually going to beat Rob on the ladder. <laughs> and Rob's pretty high up on the ladder, guys, if you guys don't know. Um, I believe he's up here somewhere. Uh, where, where did he drop to? Jesus. What happened, man? Why are you not at the top? You're always at the top. That's weird. He's, he's he even has sometimes two accounts up here, so that's uh, that's really weird that he's not uh, that he's not up here. Also, uh, I could have moonlighted there, but uh, it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, as he goes into his Coco, obviously I could go into Landorus uh, or Manectric, either one. So I'm actually gonna click Moonlight as he goes for Dazzling Gleam. So that is gonna knock me out. And uh, we're gonna go into Landorus, and uh, almost all his Mons are grounded. Uh, except for his Haolucha, so I'm gonna go for a U-turn right here. Uh, he should know what kind of Landorus I am, because uh, I U-turned out on his one on his Landorus turn one. So I think he would switch out here. At least you should. The thing is, should Haolucha come in, I still get in my Manectric, and I waste his Electric Seed. So I don't know if he would make that play. I actually don't think he would make that play. So I could Earthquake. <sighs> I'm thinking about it. U-turn's relatively safe, though. Well, sort of, because he still gets off a hit on whatever I bring in. And as threatening as Manectric is to him. Uh, yeah, we'll U-turn. Alright, so he does go Halucha. Fantastic. Okay, so now we get in Manectric, we get off the Intimidate, and he doesn't kill me with anything, even High Jump Kick. Uh, because he's at, uh, he'll be at minus one. So I'm just gonna go straight for the Thunderbolt. Uh, I could go for the Volt Switch as well. It doesn't really make a difference. Um, I think Thunderbolt is better because I like being in. Uh, as he is gonna go for the HJK, that's not gonna knock me out. Thunderbolt's easily gonna take care of this Halucha. And now we Earthquake Spam to victory, ladies and gentlemen. Lando's gonna win us this game. Essentially. <laughs> we'll see what kind of, uh, Kartana he is. Um... Magirna could be a problem. It's the only thing. I'm surprised not to see be uh, see him using Zygarde, honestly. Uh, if Magirna comes in, I'm probably Volt switching into Victini immediately because I can't let that thing set up. In comes Cart. Uh, I want to say this thing is probably Choice Scarfed by the way he brought it in. Um, which means that Manectric doesn't do anything anyway. Right? And then Victini can set up and just win. He might go for knock. I think he'd go for knock here to cover the Victini switch in. Right? Uh, and then I can bring in my Lando or my Gera. Yeah, I'm going to Flamethrower. He's going to go for knock. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to go to Gera. Because uh, he's definitely Scarfed. And I'm going to go for a Thunder Wave right here. As he's going to go into his Magirna straight away. Interesting. Um, I have a few plays. The one I'm going to make, though, is Lando. As good as it is in the endgame, I got to go into it now. On his Fleur Cannon, that's fine. Uh, and we get a kill here, no matter what. So Earthquake's going to net us a kill. Uh, on his Kartana, not necessarily, but I do get a crit. Ooh, that sucks. Wow, that really sucks. All right, well, I'm Earthquaking again. And uh, he goes for Hidden Power. Not sure what Hidden Power that was. I don't think it really matters. Because uh, now I get in my Victini. And I get up a Z Celebrate. And I don't believe he Scarfed Coco. So we're just going to go for it. I don't think Earth Power knocks me out. Uh, Revenge Crit would be Justice, honestly. Um, let's see. He goes for Fusion Bolt. It's not going to do enough. And that's going to be GG. Sorry, Rob. Uh, that was a really stupid crit. That was a really stupid crit, but I do end up at 1901 on the ladder. Um, we both know that things like that happen all the time, and it really sucks, so. Um, 1901, where is that? Okay, that's not bad, 84th on the ladder. Uh, I did sign up for OST, by the way, guys. I, I do want to leave you off on that. Um, OST is coming up, and I'm, I'm probably going to be uploading videos for it. Also, uh, Joey uh, gave me a uh, an idea to restart a series that we had going on on the channel back in the Oras metagame. 
uh, and I'm probably going to be kicking that back up. So I'm really, really excited and really happy to uh, be bringing this channel back to its former glory uh, to when we were gaining almost no subs while we were working as opposed to now gaining subs for doing absolutely nothing. Uh, which, I mean, both are fine, but I prefer to be gaining subs uh, based on actually doing something for you guys, you know? So... Uh, really happy with the way this live went. Thank you. Uh, shoutouts to Eric. I'm gonna be leaving his uh, link in the description down below. If you guys need any teams gend, um, he's he's your man. Like honestly, hit him up uh, on Discord. Uh, hit him up on his YouTube channel in the comment section. Doesn't really matter on any one of his videos. Uh, he'll give you a link to to reach him on on. Uh, Discord uh, or hit him up on Twitter either way. I'll, I'll probably leave his Twitter link in the description down below as well So if you guys need any mons gen for Wi-Fi battling hit him up. He's he's super reliable super quick as well So uh, yeah, that's it guys if you guys didn't enjoy make sure to leave a like down below Subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you guys later. Ciao